video, I'm going to show you how to add um, more products by um, the uh, vendor um, or the collection, right? For uh, product pages, um, adding more products from the same collection or vendor, right? And on the product page for the venture theme in Shopify, it was driving me kind of crazy. So I had to get a good night's sleep and then come back at this guy. So this is the venture theme before the 2.0 update. So what I had to do is if you notice in the original default um, venture theme, it just has you may also like, right, in the back end. It doesn't have the ability for more products by Dave's pet, pet food, right? Some of the newer themes are starting to add this. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went into the back end to look at this. Now this particular client has it set up where these are the actual vendors, but all the vendors have their own collection pages, right? So in order for it to, to work um, correctly, for it to do that, we had them create collections for all of their different vendors. And that makes life a lot easier, right? So here's what we ended up doing. If you go back into the uh, back end of your uh, liquid code here, so you're gonna, you know, go into your theme, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to edit code, I'm not going to show you the other dashboard, you don't need to see that. Yes, I do have a bunch of tabs open at the top there, and I also have like multiple windows, probably like 20 windows from Chrome open with the same amount of tabs. So this is a Mac, this is a 2012, it does fly, the speed of light. Um, just got a new one, but this thing seems like it's faster. Um, anyway, so whenever I go in and make changes, even though there is this older variations thing, I always make sure I make a backup, right? I'm going to edit something. So in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and just expand this to make this bigger. And then inside product.liquid, it didn't have this section. So I had to create this section. And how I did that was you scroll down and you go to sections and then you click on add new section and then you type in the name. And then in this case, it was uh, this guy right here. Products in this collection, okay? So I created that section and if you scroll down here, and I'll paste the code down into this as well. So products in this collection. So I ended up just copying the uh, product recommendations um, uh, liquid code, um, but I deleted everything and I just kept the main uh, CSS and such. So you can copy the, this code in the description below. It'll probably make your life a lot easier. Um, but if you go ahead and look at this, you'll see that here's the CSS for the this is the actual page width, right? So that's the left to the right. Section block, this is the header text. So I just put in more products by. I could have made this so that it was in the back end of uh, the um, customizer dashboard, but I didn't feel like putting the scheme in there and messing around with the rest of it. So I just put products by, more products by. And then if you look at this, I just threw a little quick color red in here just for some styling. And then I linked it to the collections. Now, if you look at this, collections, right? And in this case, I've got product vendor, okay? Product.vendors and my little pipe here, and then handle IZE. So this is gonna, and then that's gonna give me the, pro, the, the actual vendor name, right? So this is the vendor, and it's gonna link to a collection for the vendor, okay? That's at the uh, very top of this, uh, where it is right here. So this links to Dave's Pet Food, okay? Let me go back. And then each of these products also go to their own products, right? And they're different. If you notice, they're different products than what's up here you may also like. So this is a randomizer that pulls from other collections. And now this one just does products from within this collection and vendor. So now if I go back over here, and you look at this, so this is the section block, this is just the square around where it is, the grid, how the products are going to look in boxes, right? And then here's what I ended up doing. I assigned my collection, so I created a variable, okay? And then I equaled the product.vendor pipe and handle. So I want to grab the handle because that's going to be the link, right? So I grabbed the handle, which in this case is uh, Dave's Pet Food, Dave hyphen pet hyphen food. And you can also do this where um, if the product count is more than whatever, one, et cetera. So you can, you can do that if you want in here. This is just the basic version of this. Otherwise, I would put in here 
you know, if uh, product count is greater than zero, and then to show this, right? So I, I'm not gonna do that, but it goes here, percentage, right? You know, if product, and then, you know, count, and then you, you know, you can just look that up, right? So I'm just showing this by default because they have products for everything. This is a quick and done and dirty um, way of doing this. So you're gonna wanna probably put, if the product counts great, you know, is greater, you know, than zero, and then, it, and then you would show this, and then put your end, your end if tag down here. Okay, so um, now if I go down, so I made this as a collection, the product vendor, the handle. So now I have to go through the loop of the products in this particular collection, right? So what I have is for product, for product, right? Product in collections, and then my collection, which is the product vendor handle, right? dot products and now I have a limit of five because I only wanted to show five on the screen if I put in 10 here and I save it I'll go back and refresh this and then you'll see that it's going to give me it only has nine but it would give me 10 so I'm going to put that back at five okay and then here you have just the way it looks right for loop index you know if the loop index is six on the home page that's just it's, it's this doesn't need to be in here, but anyway, uh, because I created my own uh, products in this collection. So the index page is pulling in product recommendations, so that's why it has the index there as well. So now I'm going to include the product card, which is the way that the actual products look. This is the card, this whole thing. The image, the name, the title, and then the price is the product card. Okay, and that's underneath, uh, you know, your snippets over there snippets and then you got your product card right here and notice how my backups and then you have it pulls in the product the collection and that's it so now I save that guy and then this works if I save it now that works but it was driving me crazy I couldn't figure out where how to place these on here for some reason I don't know why Anyway, so more products by Dave's Pet Food. It's a vendor. It's also the collection URL for the vendor. And that's how you add um, product, same products from the same collection on a product page for the venture theme in Shopify. If you can uh, go ahead and like or subscribe to this channel, I'll create these videos as I come up with problems and I deal with people's websites, or I try to create these how to's um, just to, you know, save everyone else from having to Google the crap out of um, what the code is. All right. Thank you.